So here we have a Jeep update. I know, two videos in one night. What's gonna happen? I'm gonna disappear for another 10 years? Well, let's be honest, maybe. So here we have the 1998 Jeep Wrangler or dubbed the Turtle. Now the Turtle has a very interesting problem nowadays. Let's see if I can open this one handed. There we go. Use the head as a prop rod and get it open here. So this is actually the second time that this has happened and it's left me stranded both times. So the Jeep has a hard time getting started. It doesn't have any trouble codes or engine lights that come on. And what happens is when it's cold, it runs perfectly fine. The item is when it's at operating temp. And from what I've seen, there's a lot of people that have this issue too. Now on this particular year, this is before they did the intake manifold redo. You can see that there's a, a little clip See if I can balance things just right in my hands here. This little guy right here. Now, if you look at US UXW Bill's channel, I think it's uh, Jeep Transmission Part 2, you're going to see us putting in this sensor doodad. This is the crank shaft position sensor, or I believe it's called the CSP for Mopar. And so what that little sensor does is there's a little magnet on the flex plate flywheel doodad and every time it passes, it sends a signal to the computer, basically telling the computer, hey, you know, you're good to, for Spark here. So, because this has been happening, and when it happened today, it'll, it'll lug, and it'll sit at about 750 RPMs, and then it'll crash down to about 500, and it'll surge. Now, the other interesting thing it will do is when it's hot, and this happens, it dies. It straight dies. There's no ands, ifs, or buts. It loses everything. Gauges go to zero. Everything goes dark. So what I did, let's travel back in sight here. Oh, hey, there's a John Deere 48-inch deck. Well, we know that's not green because I can still see it when it's dead in the grass. So we're going to go back in sight here, and we're going to look at the sensor that I pulled. Now, keep in mind that I replaced this sensor, oh, about 10 years ago. And so, when we have that, oh, there's a kitty cat. Oh, shucks, I locked myself out of that door. So, the sensor, I pulled the sensor, and I've been doing tests on it. And I figure, you know, if it's been 10 years, it might be time for a sensor. So, tomorrow, the game plan is to go up into town get a sensor for this Jeep, and then try it. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, well, hey, I have a spare part for $30 with a lifetime warranty on it. And I know what everybody's gonna say here. Well, Bizarre Forehead, you should have gone with the OEM part. Well, 10 years ago, I didn't go with the OEM part, and it's lasted this long, and it hasn't caused any trouble so far. I'm sure that's probably gonna come and bite me in my rear end later, but Hey, you know what? We all live and learn. So again, this is Bizarre Furhead signing off on YouTube for a little bit before I come up with another short video idea. Bye-bye.